I did it. I got the appeal. You're free, Cody. Cody? I'll just turn on the light. Huh? Oops. The prosecution will call their first witness, please. The prosecution calls Miss Emily Roberts to the stand. Emily, can you identify the man who broke your heart? It was him, Cody Miller. Now, after Mr. Miller lied to you about the nude art class he was taking, the two of you got in an argument. Is that correct? That's right. Then what happened? Well, I felt bad, so I went back to the station to talk to him. And tell the jury what you saw when you got there. I saw Cody kissing the nude model from his heart class. Hey, uh, uh, I, I object. She was not nude at the time. She wasn't? I object, too. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Thank you for your courage. No further questions. One question, Emily. Where'd you get your nail polish? I don't remember. Oh, your Honor, permission to treat Miss Roberts as a hostile witness. Granted. <laughs> Just because I won't tell you where I got my nail polish? Did you, um, have a fight with the defendant last night? Yes. And what was the last thing you said to him? I told him to go be with Tanya. <laughs> I see. Miss Roberts, are you in the habit of sending your boyfriends into the arms of another woman? Objection. Sustain. I'll withdraw the question. Isn't it possible that the defendant thought you were breaking up with him? Objection. Goes to state of mind, Your Honor. Overruled. Answer the question, Miss Roberts. Well, I guess he could think that. I have no further questions. I'm through with this witness. You may step down. The prosecution calls the defendant's psychiatrist to the stand. Psychiatrist? You can tell us you have a shrink. I don't. Well, you do now. Hello? Dr. Ford, in your expert opinion, what are we doing here? I would say this dream is a manifestation of some deep-seated self-reproach suggesting culpability for a prior misdeed. In English, doctor. He's guilty. He has put himself on trial. Cody, we are not judging you. You are. No further questions. Isn't it true that in recent decades, your theories have been almost completely discredited? Well, it's true. Some people do not agree. In fact, <laughs> the only real reason you're here is because my client doesn't know enough about psychology to imagine anyone else in your place. Uh, actually, I just can't draw Jung. Your Honor, I have no more questions for the so-called expert witness. But, uh, it's all his mother's fault? The witness is excused. <laughs> the prosecution would like to call Miss Tanya Morrison to the stand. Oh, Mara. You're a dead man, Miller. The witness would like to borrow a robe for the proceedings. Objection. <laughs> Actually, I'm fine, Your Honor. Thank you. Miss Morrison, is it true that Cody Miller produced various nude sketches of you? Yes. He's uh, extremely talented. <laughs> I submit Exhibit A. Mr. Miller's sketchbook. Can I... Uh... Can I see that? <laughs> Miss Morrison, did the accused go to your apartment last night? Yes. Um, around 8 o'clock, I heard someone on my door, so I went to answer it, and there was Cody. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what was the defendant's mood? Um, he seemed a little upset. He said that he had gotten into a big fight with his girlfriend. His girlfriend! <laughs> Ladies of the jury! In the defendant's own words, Miss Roberts was still his girlfriend. Proof positive that he did not believe they had broken up. Objection. This is hearsay. Sustained. 20 minutes to party of five people. <laughs> Tanya, did Cody spend the night at your apartment? No, he didn't spend the night. But he did kiss you at the station. Oh, no, absolutely not. I kissed him. <laughs> yeah, but it was later at my apartment that he kissed me. <laughs> Objection, it was not like that. Save it, Mellon. I've heard enough. We're moving right to sentencing. What, wait, my defense team hasn't even cross-examined the witness yet. Hey, Perry Mason, you want to get in the game here? Come on, give it up, Cody. You're feeling guilty. Otherwise, you'd be having that Baywatch dream again. Cody, come quick. Mitch and CJ are trapped in an underwater cave. They're running out of air. <laughs> Wrong dream, Miss Vasquez. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have no one. That was close. For a minute there, I thought we weren't going to make it into this dream. Hey. Sorry we're late, Your Honor, but we had to fly this baby in from Texas. Is it charged up? <laughs> Are you kidding? We got 40,000 volts ready to go. We could fry Miller and still have enough juice left over to cook a side of beef. Yeah, I just love a good rub roast. Cody Miller, this court finds you guilty. I burn easy! Wait, I'm gonna take this. I can just wake up now. Now, wake up. Wake up. Oh, goody, where am I now? You're in a gloomy corner of reality where the unlucky souls reside. Terrific, I'm in Pittsburgh. Not quite. This place is called Limbo, and I represent an aspect of your subconscious designed to help you confront your unresolved issues. Hmm. My w whoa, Em, if I have any unresolved issues, it's only because of you. And what did I do? You know what I'm talking about. I told you that I loved you, okay? Do you have any idea how hard that was for me to say? A a and what'd you do? Nothing. Well, fine. Fine. You want to hear it? I love you. I, I, I adore you. You mean the world to me. Thanks. It doesn't count. Why not? This is just a dream. I'm in limbo. You called? He said limbo, not limbo. <laughs> the later cupcake. Bye. <clears throat> Look, uh, Em, what's going on between us? Are we broken up? What do you think? I, I think you told me to go be with Tanya. And for once, you listened to me. Thanks a lot. Okay, well, well, if we're not broken up, then I... You cheated on me, Cody. And tomorrow when you see me at school, you might even lie about it. After all, no one would really know what happened. Except me. Except you. Why couldn't you just have told me how you feel about me? You know, even, even if you don't, Love me. I do love you, Cody. I always will. Uh, okay, okay. Is that is that my dream talking now or you? <laughs> Don't worry, I've already filed an appeal. Just put me on the stand. It's too late. <laughs> Never try that again. Mrs. Morton, please, you have to let me speak. I finally figured it all out. I know why I'm here. 